Okay, so let me just share my screen and show you an overview of how to uh, just collect the data and do some analysis on it. Okay, so uh, I hope you can see my screen. Okay, so let's just uh, okay. uh, let me just open Telegram and start from that. Since we all need, uh, since that's our first step, so let's just say uh, I'm in Tigva and I'm collecting data for the Broad Bank, right? So now, as you can see here, for the views, you can actually see we have around 153,800 views and the share is one. So now, and also you can actually count this and maybe you can just uh, copy the text and also download the creative as needed. Maybe if uh, if that's something that you think is useful for. So let's just, uh, so the first step would be to just uh, check the date. So, you know, you can see here when it was posted and as you can see, it's, it was posted on today around uh, 9.25, which means uh, in the morning, 3.25 uh, in Ethiopian time. So, yeah, we can actually see how uh, how how the view was and all. And just move, we'll just see another tool also. But let's, let's just focus on this one first. So let's say now you are doing it manually. So I'll just collect these views and... I'll put it in uh, in uh, put it in in Excel and in any data you think uh, it will be important for or any actually data story. So as uh, we've mentioned, now this is just your uh, initial layer. So which means your all raw data files are going to be stored here. So now. The now this is one way and the other way or the programmatical way would be to scrape this data and telegram allows you to do it in some uh in some way so you can just post this link and open it in the browser so the first thing is just to copy this link and let's just paste in a in a different browser so as you can see now uh, the trick is the trick here is to understand how uh, Telegram works. So now this is just Tikva's username, as you can see here. Now we can actually see this is Tikva Ethiopia and the slash is uh, slash. Uh, after the slash is the message ID, which means let's just pick the previous message ID. And let's just copy the post link and do the same. And when we post, as you can see, we have somehow consecrated the previous is 67 and now there is 69. So it just means there was one message. So that is uh, an incremental. So as you can see here, just to show you how, how it works, you can see here. Well, so the reason it just goes from 67 up to 69 is that this uh, this post contains two ads. So for example, this just uh, open a new uh, ad and a new post, which has, so 69 has, which means this one has only one image. So it will be considered as one post. And now we can see it will just be 70. As you can see, 69. And after that, we have 70. No, so that means that like uh, in Telegram, the way it is constructed is each image has its own message ID. So for example, for this one, we have a different message ID and for this one, we have a different message ID. Now we can just uh, collect this using uh, some scraping tools like Puppeteer and anything. So the the trick here is, uh, so actually this is an embedding. So embedding means it's just an, it's embedded in this framework. So in this web, web page so you can't see it uh, while you're trying to scrape it but you have to you will add some uh, tra uh, trailing here and you can just uh, get the whole uh, the whole uh, message and you can scrape it so now we can actually inspect and get the views i hope it is uh, visible
and also I hope I'm audible enough just to make you understand because I think so you can actually see here this div represents the whole the whole um, message body and as you can see here if you just do it like this you can check where each content uh, belongs so which means uh, message text is the class and you can select this specific class while you are trying to scrape and also let's just move on to the view and check where how many views we have and so tgme the class is tgme widget message views is the the class and you can just select using that and also inside we have the actual view and you can just now understand this uh, particular message has around 204,000 views so now it's, you can just collect it in this way and also let's just go to tg start and check uh, check if we can actually collect it using those two so let's just search for tikva Let's just go through. So we want tick by Ethiopia. So now we just want stats. And now you can actually see, uh, as I've mentioned uh, earlier, you can uh, collect the subscriber count from here and also you can just check the view analysis from here so, so for example uh, this one just shows every post so now you can actually just search for this particular uh, and you can actually so let's just say tromor it's 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 a limited one but you can just check uh, how many views were there in the first hour in the second hour and also in the third hour how many views were there so this is particularly for uh 800 i mean 87,760 with the post id of that and we can actually confirm and check uh, this by just going on pickbook and this is just for past 24 hours you can just check here and also you can just uh collect the data from here but scraping this would be uh, actually, uh, a little bit harder, but you can just this will also ask for a, for a subscription, but you can just do it in, uh, fetch those manually and store it. So, for the time series part of the message views, you can't actually uh, check each message's progression in uh, in a time series basis since. Uh, you have to actually collect the data. If you can collect the data and create a time series uh, analysis on it, that's great. Because I just showed you how to scrape it and you can just scrape the view part uh, in every hour or in every two hours. You can just set up the script that actually do the scraping part. And you can just do the, you can do the analysis part on that. But if, if you are not successful in scraping it and you are just collected it manually, the way to do the time series part would be just to compare uh, based on the other messages. So I'll just show you another dashboard that is being uh, implemented using the same data that has been shared with you guys. But I'll just show you that. And before that, um, I, I just want to show you there is a possible a possibility that you can actually fetch it and also in using telegram bot api you can actually fetch the subscriber count but you have to somehow you have to be but find a way uh try to find a way to collect all the data and also you can use the telegram clients api uh to actually collect the whole data the whole data pro uh, telegram prohibits that but it uh, if you find a way or if you can create an api key using telegram uh, and just do the collection using that but you can't just do it manually because you just want some limited data you can just go through uh, 10 15 ads for each bank and let's say you just chose four banks now you have just collect you can you you need just to collect uh around 60 uh posts that's just how and also for the subscriber count you can just collect the data from tg stat and just try to match the time that is uh let, let's say just let's just uh check using uh, this one let's just uh show let me just show you so for example let's say yeah Hebrew bank has uh 
uh, Everett Bank has a Telegram channel, so let's just uh, copy this one and go to TGStat and search for Everett Bank. And maybe I have, uh, I'm having a show with my internet, but we will just see. Okay. Everett Bank. I misspelled it, I guess. Okay, it's just saying, okay, Everett Bank ET. So it's not able to find it, so just like, let's do it again, maybe. I misspelled it. Okay, so it's not on TG Start uh, yet. So just, uh, okay, let's just uh, using this. So yeah, okay, let's just take this one as an example and just try go through the start part and also we don't have a subscribers here because i think uh, it's just a group so i don't think we have uh, a subscription for group so we, for a group we don't have a subscription we just have uh, some uh, participants but let's just use another channel maybe one of Abyssinia, maybe. Let's just see if it's available uh, here. But if it's not, you can just uh, now you can see here Bank of Abyssinia is here and it's a verified channel. So, channels, German language, Ethiopia, Amharic, and now you can just get the subscribers from here. And now we can just form, you can just. Uh, I don't think downloading would be possible, but uh, export to Excel is possible. Let's just check all. Let's just try by months and so we have by month. So now we have we have the data in April. In April, so let's just export it to Excel. Maybe so we need also uh, so we can just. Uh, take the data from here directly by just copying and pasting it. So since we have a daily data, a daily data for each. Um, so for example, this is just for, uh, I think it's for, uh, if it's 24, I think it's for May. So we can just take the data from here and particularly going through all the, uh, all the time that you want from, uh, Based on the ad, so for example, let's say the ad is from uh, Monday. I mean, mon I said mon from April, so you just go to April and you page the date. So now you can see by months, you can actually check. Now this is for April, so now you can actually see how it's progressed. Now they are losing around 75, 93, 32, and 101, and it's just and now they have added 115 people, 108 people on. 13th and 14th of May. So now we have to, you can check why that, why that was the case. Was there an ad or not? So let's say just, let's just go to Tikva and check. Let's just go to Tikva and we have a citation here, which means uh, how many of the, it's referred or like just check about the ads. Now you can just check. Uh, about the advertisement, so advertising efficiency. Now you can just check how many of, uh, and also from the subscribers, you can just check. So now you can see the creative and also how successful was the, how successful the ad was. You just, we, we just want you to understand it like that, not creating uh, the whole, this one, but we, we want you to understand it the same way. It is like this one. So let's just check uh, the subscriber. Uh, this is the attracting a subscriber. So this means uh, what actually did attract all all the subscribers. So mostly this is a, a view, and we have uh, yeah. Now you can see uh, just how how it progressed. So channel was mentioned one times in one channels in that posts with mentioned were viewed more than 
then 241,614 times and the, the audience growth this month was 226 subscribers. Now we want you to understand it like this and also come up with a report like this. So basically the, this is how you approach and using uh, Telegram. And one other way uh, is to, we, we want you to actually dig more and research more of this one. So we, we know that there are plenty of resources out there, but Telegram is a little bit harder or in, in more complex in order to get the data and actually fetch the data, but you can actually uh, check and go through it just using it. So let me just stop sharing and let me just show you. Uh, let me just show you the dashboard that was created by using the data that was shared to you guys. And in the meantime, if you have any question, you can just raise your hand and ask. You, you guys don't have any question or is it clear or uh, if it is not clear okay thank you Abraham. let me just show you the dashboard Uh, let me just find it. Uh, give me a few seconds. Mm. Okay. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Let's... So this was a dashboard created uh, for uh, an Ethiopian air a company called Agam. So we just collected all the data based on for the major banks in Ethiopia. That was the initiation initiative for the, with this week's challenge also. And so, yeah. It's just the uh, Atom is a telegram advertising company. So we just uh, collected all the data and tried to make sense out of it. So now uh, you can just, this is just a simple looker. I hope you can see my screen. And this is a simple looker. Now you can see how CBE, uh, Global Bank of Ethiopia, BOA, and Wagagan are been progressing throughout the quarters. So quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. And you can see the, the average impression of uh, all of them was around 274,000. And you can actually see how um, the ad has been progressing and also uh, what time of the year and what time of the day ha they have been posting and what was actually the, the motivation? What do we understand the data from the data? That's what we want you to create and understand. And I just want you to see that it is possible and also it's not, uh, it will be like completed uh, if you just uh, try it. So, for example, you can see uh, CB just started. Uh, I, we just found the data for uh, April, so and also they stopped advertising on September and just go like that. And you can actually see here how uh, time of day was. So, for example, uh, BOA, how BOA doesn't do much advertisements at night and all, and CB doesn't, CB actually op uh, optimally. Uh, distribute their art throughout the D section. So, for example, afternoon, evening, morning, and night. And time of day would be uh, so. Which one? Which time of day was the best? 
so this is just for Tikva in 2023. Now we have to do all this for the latest uh, posted ads in Rufusho for the latest banks. We just want you to understand how to fetch the data, how to understand the data, and how to clean, pre-process, and do everything uh, among, among other things. And just we just want you to come up with an official marketing strategy or, or some sort in order for your bank to understand the current market gap and also the current uh, blockers in the whole advertising, uh, in the whole ad telegram advertising. So as you can see here, just uh, afternoon was the best uh, for CBA and BOA, but for Global Bank of Ethiopia night was the best for night did have, uh, night did have um, a higher number of impressions. So this is just, I just want to give you a high overview. Just this is, a, this is we won't share this with you, but we, we, I want to give you just uh, somehow a high level description of what you guys should see it like or what you guys should achieve. So in for Global Bank, you can just see focus on regular and steady advertising. And as you can see here, the green is Global Bank. So they just, if they, if they start advertising, somehow it's consistent and steady. And for CBE, adopts a consistent approach, as I've mentioned earlier, well, from the data, you, you come to understanding how uh, it was. So now for the Play Store part, we, we want you to actually fetch the data and actually try. So if you remember on the challenge on uh, stock market, uh, news and stock market data analysis and also from the stock move from the stock news on and sentiment you're trying to actually check the correlation between that and the stock movement right so this is how you actually uh, should approach this one too i will just uh, stop sharing this one and uh, let's just move on to any iq and a section let's just i want to know your uh, understanding Okay, uh, you can't get the data that easily, but there is Telegram client API, Telegram bot API. And I recommend you to, you, to just explore uh, just the web scraping part works too for the, uh, let's say an ad was posted today and you want to track its progress. You can do it manually, but also you can actually do it, uh, scrape the data by just using the, what I have showed you. And if you if you face any blockers, you just have to check how to scrape an embedded, an embedded uh, HTML. So what they have with what they do you know, while the while you are actually trying to get the particular post is the embedded. So if you have to scrape the embedded part. So you have to use the link for the embedding at the whole HTML. So you can just check it. Let me just show you quick, quickly how that looks like. Uh, let me just share my screen. Okay, so now you can see it, right? Just okay, so now uh, let's just assume we are doing so. Now, as you can see here, there is a you know, it's a frame when you right click on it, it says view frame source. So now you just say view frame, frame source, and you use this link, you use this link. Uh, not this link so if you if you use this link you just get this one but you have to use this link now you have embed is equals to one and mode is equals to t.me now you just have to uh, scrape this one now you can you get the content and also also if if you can uh, actually generate and get uh, telegram will uh, block uh, you'll actually so, so there are two ways of uh, getting uh, an api there is a bot API and also there is a client API and also TG startups have their own API, but you have to pay uh, Telegram client API and bot API are free. So for the bot API, what you just do is register your bot on uh, 
in both other and get an API. And after that, you can just uh, do uh, whatever data collection you want, but you can't call it. Uh, Telegram won't allow you to collect data. So both is mo mostly just to actually check and fetch some stuff. So for example, you can fetch uh, a Telegram public channel information just using uh, the public link. There is a public link slash Telegram slash bot and the bot token and also chat, get chat. You can just use Telegrams, just explore on in Telegram bot API and check how how many of the information you actually can get from it. But for now, just you can just focus on Telegram client API, which actually can give you uh, the whole access you want, but you can't get blocked or you might get blocked you, the whole uh, so in order to get a telegram client api key you have to sign in using your own telegram account so now if they block you they will actually uh, remove you or disable your telegram account so you can't use telegram anymore so in order for uh, to avoid that just make sure you use an alternative phone number where you're creating telegram client api and just play around with uh, the library the rapper level so there are for for, uh, for python i think there is telecom or yeah and gram js is for javascript you can just uh, uh, go in and see you can actually get all the information you need out of a message so every telegram message is a class it, it has its own class so you can just just go and say dot views and dot text and you can actually check, get all the information you need but if telegram suspects you are actually fetching the, the data it, it might block you so uh, there is there are lo a lot of blockers but just try uh, your best to get the data the most feasible solution to get the view is just scrape it as i've shown you in the in the browser just scrape that one and if you want any, just try your best to get it done. And if not, just ask on Slack and we will try to help. Okay, Matthias, is that clear? Okay, any other question? Uh, it doesn't really matter if the Telegram account is premium or not. Mostly, uh, you use Telegram premium account for the other part, not to get the tel Telegram data or anything. It, it doesn't mean you have a developer premium account. You just have a Telegram account. It, it doesn't give you a client premium account or a client premium API. Just try to not use a primary phone number while you are trying to use a client API. Because uh, there is a new uh, rule that states uh, any unofficial Telegram uh, API accounts will be monitored, uh, monitored in a very rigorous way. So there is a high, a high, a high chance of your account getting blocked, especially if you are just using it to fetch a start from a channel, from a public channel. Mm -hmm. so just now you can just focus on the scraping part and try to do the other tasks. And if you uh, actually finished the tasks as early uh, earlier, you can just play around with the client in both API and see what leverage, what uh, actually it will give you, what opportunities you will get and what other advantage you will have. But don't waste your time or more on that one. So if you want a time series data for a particular post, just create a, a script that, run out, that runs uh, every hour or every two hours and scrape the data. Maybe just store the data in your initial layer and also you'll have a pipeline that will move that into your second layer. You can approach it in this way. Okay, any other question?
Okay, so if any if, if it's clear, thank you guys. Uh, if you have any question, just uh, drop it on Slack and uh, thank you. I'll just stop the recording.